फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम रूट ओवर एक्स प्लस वन लेट एस सपोज एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ एक्स प्लस वन लेट एस फाइंड आउट एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस एच दिस इज एक्स प्लस एच प्लस वन now this cannot be simplified because root of x plus h plus 1 or root of x plus 1 but it can be simplified in using binomial theorem but presently we don't have the binomial theorem so better you keep like this only from the first principles first principles let us write what is the first principles so f dash x is equal to dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h now this f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 now f of x plus h is replaced by this one root of x plus h plus 1 and minus f of x is root over x plus 1 by h now this can be done two ways using rationalization method or by applying simple formula limit x tends to a x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a is equal to n into a power n minus 1 okay so now this can be written limit h tends to 0 x plus h plus 1 all to the power of half Minus x plus one all to the power of half by this we can write x plus h plus one minus x plus one. Just check it. X x cancel. One one cancel. We get h only. Now limit changes. As h approaches to zero, this x plus h plus one approaches to x plus one. now this limit changes to limit x plus h plus 1 tends to x plus 1 very interesting you see yeah x plus h plus 1 all to the power of half minus x plus 1 all to the power of half by x plus h plus 1 minus x plus 1 this is a formula limit x tends to a x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a that is n into a power n minus 1 so already in previous problems also we have discussed this one so using this half into x plus 1 to the power of half minus 1 so half into x plus 1 half minus 1 is minus half so 1 by you can write 2 into x plus 1 to the power of half this is nothing but 1 by 2 root of x plus 1 now what is the derivative of root of x plus 1 that is 1 by 2 root of x plus 1 therefore d by dx of root of x plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 root of x plus 1 if you practice this methods in the first level 
in second level third level problems directly we can write it if it is root of x plus 1 1 by 2 root of x plus 1 if it is root of x plus a 1 by 2 root of x plus a if it is root of a x plus b 1 by 2 root of a x plus b into derivative of a x plus b should be written. Now, the next fifth problem sin 2 x. So, far we have dealt with the algebraic functions. Now, just we are moving to the that means, indirectly we are switching over to the trigonometric functions. How to find out the derivative of the trigonometric functions using first principles? Okay. Let us experience how to solve this problem. So, now let us suppose here also f of x is equal to sin 2 x. What is f of x plus h? This is sin of 2 times x plus h. This can be simplified sin of 2 x plus 2 h. Let us write the formula from the first principles from the first principles f dash x is equal to dy by dx limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h. Okay. Now, this f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0. Now, f of x plus h is sin of 2 x plus 2 h minus sin 2 x by h. Now, sin c minus sin d formula. What is sin c minus sin d? In transformations already we have discussed sin c minus sin d. So, if you have any queries or doubt about the sin c minus sin d, the proof of sin c minus sin d we have clearly discussed in the transformation episodes. If you have doubt, you can one, once again you can watch my video transformations. So, sin c minus sin d, sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 cos of c plus d by 2 and sin c minus d by 2. So, this is equal to limit h tends to 0. Now, the difference is going to become the product here 2 cos 2 x plus 2 h plus 2 x by 2 and sin of 2 x plus 2 h minus 2 x by 2 and by h. Here 2 x 2 x gets cancelled. Now, take 2 common limit h tends to 0, this becomes cos of 2 common 2 2 gets cancelled x plus h, this is 4 x 2 x plus h into sin 2 h by 2 means sin h by h. So, now it can be written as a product of the two limits. So, this can be split 2 into limit h tends to 0 cos of 2 x plus h okay, multiplied by limit h tends to 0 sin h by h. See this one, 
this is in the form of limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta equals to 1. You know why did you get like that? If theta is very 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 small, theta approaches to 0 means theta is negligible. If theta is negligible, the sin theta is approximately equal to theta. Theta by theta we get 1. Okay. So, now here also as h tends to 0 sin h becomes h, h by h is 1, this is 1. So, now 2 into this is cos of 2 x plus 0 into 1, this is 2 cos 2 x. So, what is the derivative of sin 2 x with respect to x is cos 2 x into 2 x derivative is 2. So, therefore, d by d x of sin 2 x is equal to 2 cos 2 x.